Hello, Weatherstone friends. It's good to see you again. Week three, yay. Um, this week, we are going to work on doing some upcycling. So we are going to be taking items that we have found around the house and making something new with them. So let's get started. Okay, so today, we are going to be looking at these. I'm sure you guys have plastic bags at home. Um, looks like these came from Target. And I, those are Target too. Um, mostly we've just been to Target if we've gone anywhere um, lately. But plastic bags. You can certainly recycle them. But what I want you guys to think about today is what could you make from plastic bags? So, oops. Oop. Sorry, don't want the puppy to get them. She likes to get all kinds of stuff. Here's your toy. Here's your toy. Okay, so what can you make with? a plastic bag. Okay, right. so just like in the classroom, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to brainstorm. So I want you to just take a minute or two. Rory, Rory, stop. They're fighting over a bone. Um, I want you to take a minute and I want you to think about what you might be able to make with a plastic bag. Um, so, let's see. Could make um, a jump rope. I've done that before. You could cut pieces. I think my daughter actually crocheted or weaved together. I'll put weave some kind of like mat um, for sleeping or for sitting. Something like that might be good if you've done any backyard camping or something like that. Um, I actually saw one where people were making like purses and making their own little bags out of them. Maybe you could cut some strips and use them as like string to make things. Maybe for weaving or tying things together. Um, you could even use them, you could make like doll, doll clothes out of them. Or something like that. Um, you could create like a shoot hmm you could probably stuff them in into something for a pillow so as filler for a pillow or a stuffed animal or something like that so there's lots of things that you could use bags for. Maybe you can think of some others. So what we are going to do today is we are going to make a parachute. Now you could probably just use it like this, but I'm going to make a design because I think that if I just use the bag like this, it may not open. So I'm actually going to cut a square like this and then I'm going to use some kind of string and tie to the all four corners like that. I think I might use tape too so I'm gonna design it because we're we're planning right so I'm gonna use some kind of string I'm going to use tape to hold on all the parts, the 
this is the bag and bag so that it's labeled. And then I'm going to try to find something to parachute. So <laughs> we're going to try a toy. May, may end up being a dog toy. I have no idea. We have to see what we have around the house because my kids are not so little anymore. Um, who knows? Maybe we'll use we'll use Rory's toy here, the dog toy. Um, we call this Jim Bob, Jim Bob Binya Binya. Um, when I was little, we had a show called Bean Binya Bean or what was it? Villa Villa Kula? No, that's uh, that's Pippi Longstocking. But there was an island, and there was this like frog that jumped around, and its name was Binya Binya. So anyway. Um, let's see what I can find. So, um, the materials I have gathered, I have the bags. We are not using the dog bone. Um, I have a scissor. I have tape. Some kind of string. Um, I started with paracord but it seems kind of heavy. So I think I'm just gonna go with some string for this one. Um, I found a Smurf. Um, my husband collects little figurines, so he had that in his office, so I stole it from him. So let's see what we can get done. Let's see, I guess these all kind of feel the same, but this one feels like it might be a little thicker, so I'm gonna go with this one. Let's spread it out. Try to cut a really good size square. Um, it's okay if it's not perfect. It's kind of hard to cut a square from plastic. But um, if you're having trouble cutting the square, maybe have your parent or guardian, whoever you're staying with, cut it out for you. And then you can do the other part. Um, and you don't have to use these materials. You don't even have to make this. You can make something else out of a bag. But I just thought this looked like it could be fun. And I really kind of want to throw something off the porch and test it out. So we will see. Okay. Uh, oh, that looks pretty good this one edge off there it's not perfect but it's almost the shape of a square so now um i'm not really sure how i'm gonna tie these so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm going to cut some strings that are about one two probably about two feet long and i'm gonna cut four of those because i have four corners on my square. And then I think what I'm going to do is try to do like a sheet knot, which is a scouting knot, um, and then maybe tie it, and then maybe add some tape. So I'm gonna do that to all four parts. So let's watch. Okay, so now that I have the four strings tied, I'm going to attach it to, I think it's Happy. Happy's very excited about going on a little trip right now. Maybe he doesn't know what he's in for. So I'm going to tie this. Now, if you don't have a porch, that's okay. Um, you could do it from on top of a chair and see if it works. Or if you have bunk beds or have somebody that's really tall, hold it. Um, okay, so I'm trying to get these about as even as I can. And I'm actually going to tie a little knot here so that they all stay kind of even. This one looks just a little bit 
if you are doing this by yourself and you want to use tape to tape it to your character, that's fine too. Um, I want to leave it. I think I want to leave this a little bit long. Maybe I will tape it because I want it to have enough room to open up. Let's see. Who knows? This may not work. <laughs> I haven't done this before. So don't tell Happy that though. So I'm going to figure out a good way to attach this to him. So I'm going to put this kind of on his back, I think, like a parachute. Well, that's what it is, a parachute. So I'm gonna center it in his back and I think I'm going to tie it around his arms and then maybe to his legs too. I may have to cut him out of this afterwards. Um, so tie this one like that. Great way to practice our knots. Oh no, I tied it to his tail. So now it's too loose. I'm gonna have to redo it. That's the thing with engineering something is there are often times where you have to improve and that's okay. And you know what? This may not work and that's okay too because we can just try it again. So let's see what happens. Maybe he's too heavy for a bag parachute. I don't know. So I'm having trouble tying it up in the air like that. There we go. Got one arm tied on. And here we go. Yeah, to string it through. He doesn't really have his arm space is a little bit narrow right there. So that that's a little more difficult. But we're making it work. And then the other strap. Who knew that a teacher would tell you to throw stuff like this? <laughs> okay, well, it's a little stringy. I might try to tie it behind before we actually um, throw it, but he looks like he's going to be flying down. Let's see what happens. Okay, so there comes my daughter and she has Happy and his parachute. Um, there's a bit of a breeze, so he might, who knows where he's going to go. So let's see how our test flight goes. When you kind of swing him, so he kind of comes out a little bit, maybe. Okay. All right, whenever you're ready. Whoa, he actually did pretty good, except that he landed in a bush. Let's try again. I moved over to the side of the house because the wind was kind of blowing it towards the bushes. So... All right, whenever you're ready, three, two, one, go. Whee! How was your ride, Happy? Was it good? Yay! Wind is catching it. I wonder if he can fly in the wind. Let's wait for the next big gust. It's kind of like having a kite. Oh, did not work. <laughs> That's funny. He might be just a bit too heavy. Let's try again. Come on, wind. A little bit. There we go. Oh. <laughs> so what can you make with a plastic bag? You can make a parachute like I did and try different things. Um, you could try different parachutes. See if maybe one stores um, bag works better than another one. Maybe see what kind of strings work good. Um, have fun. Tweet me a picture or um, send it to me on email or a video if you want and show me your creations. I can't wait.